Ladies and gentlemen, I am the ambassador of the World Wrestling Network, Trevin Adams. Probably got about the best seat in the house right now. Speaking of the house, Evolve 31 in the books, hot house here in the Orpheum, amazing show. What do you think, Joanna? Well, I mean, like, straight away, we've gone into that style battle round robin challenge. And, I mean, this is all very new to me being from England, but we've had Drew Gulak and Biff Busick, I think. I mean, Drew Gulak, I know that he's been in the UK before, so I have seen him wrestle before, but Biff Busick was a new one to me. And I, both these guys have put in brutal, brutal matches. And I mean, seeing them like bend their fingers back and things like that, I was absolutely cringing. It was, it was really great to watch, great entertainment. And both of these guys have won by submission. I, I mean, I think it started off the show in really grand fashion. The following contest is part of the Style Battle Round Robin Tournament scheduled for one fall. about a physical style. It isn't that they're just out there trading blows, but look at, they keep taking it to the canvas and going to work on the different appendages. I don't care if it's the leg, I don't care if it's the arm, and these two are trying to pick each other apart. Submission predicament now for Gulak here. Man, these two guys are just putting on a clinic. You wanna talk about a guy making huge, huge news, a huge name for himself, huge splash everywhere he goes. Really excited to have him here in Evolve. Tries to shoot for that single leg, looking for a fireman's carry, but he got snuffed out. He's got him up in the rack. Oh, a counter. And for Rydeen to go down, or take a step back from a chop from Busick, shows you how hard Busick hits. Clearly the game plan of Thatcher is to, oh my God. He may have just broken the fingers of Drew Gulak right there. That was a sickening thud. They're just coming out and going straight ahead, running right through you. Figure four arm bar. Variation on a key lock there by Gulak. Unbelievable display of wrestling. Music hits the corner, Radin with a head of steam. Oh, what a Larry at the corner. Trying to go for that side salto again, but instead it's Gulak taking the leg. The ankle lock. Thatcher trying to crawl the ropes. It's gotta be it, Lenny. Big guy starting to fade. Music squeezing with every ounce of his being here. Before Busick was able to lock in that lock in that choke. And talk about wrestling. We have Matt Seidel, Johnny Gargano putting on a clinic for everybody watching in attendance on live and on iPay-per-view tonight. Oh my god. Amazing. Tearing down the house. You know, they put on wrestling high, low, you know, on the ground, in the air, with Matt Seidel getting out the win, but then Gargano snapping at the end, blaming Rich for him losing his Open the Freedom Gate title, and then coming out during Rich and Ricochet's match, getting involved in the beginning of the match, you know, and then getting out. I mean, did that affect, you know, the outcome of the match with Caleb Conley and Anthony Nice winning over the Inner City Machine Guns tonight? The best shooting star press in the business earns the victory for Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel! And I don't know if, if you can say that the downward spiral of Johnny Gargano is continuing here tonight because there is no shame in losing to a world-class athlete like Matt Seidel. But this certainly is not going to help the psyche of Johnny Gargano as he heads into Evolution's End on Sunday against Rich Swan. And for anybody who doubted whether Evan Bourne, Matt Seidel, had anything left in the tank, well, I think that question's been answered here tonight. Johnny Gargano, if I could have, please, just a minute of your time. 
It seems to me that Matt Seidel is here. He's absolutely making his presence felt and he wants a title shot. So if that happens tomorrow night in a... So much for Joanna Rose making her first shot. appearance. A title shot? What title is that? What title is it? Is it my, my, my Open the Freedom Gate Championship? The title that I made! The title that is me! The title that Rick Swan! That Rick Swan! That Rick Swan cost me. Rich, Rich. You, I know you're watching. I know you're watching me, Rich. It's your fault. All of this is your fault. You've made my life a living hell for a year. And this weekend, this weekend, hear me, Rich. Hear my words. I am going to end you. So then, finally, to, to sort of end this show, the main event, Chris Hero, the champion, versus Drew Galloway. Now, this was meant to be a non-title match, as we know, but... Chris Hero went right in there and said that he was really disappointed that it wasn't a title match. He challenged Drew Galloway and said, do you want this to be a title match? Drew Galloway said, absolutely, yes. So they went at it. Hard fought battle. Two really great wrestlers. I mean, they've had amazing careers. And Chris Hero is clearly a fan favorite here at Evolve. He deserved to have that title. But Drew Galloway just it, it absolutely beat him. And I mean, what, what an incredible reaction there. Drew Galloway is obviously very happy to be here at Evolve. He, he said to me, like straight away, what does Evolve mean to you? And I'm, I'm quite honest, I've said, I think it's one of the best companies in the US at the moment. I know it exists. People in the UK know it exists. And I mean, but not to take away from that main event. What, what an incredible main event. And Drew Galloway is the new champion. I mean, a shocking, surprising win there this evening, but I'm sure everyone's gonna be pretty happy about that. Hero adding insult to injury, but doing whatever it takes to get the victory. Uh, congratulations, I mean, this is your first night here at Evolve and Wow, just wow, you won the title. I mean, I know I'm feeling a bit speechless. I think everybody else here must be feeling the same, people watching at home. And this has got to be an unreal moment for you. I mean, do you have any comments on your surprise win here this evening? Oh my God. If anybody has followed my career for the past two or three years, you know I've been trying to climb a very steep mountain. I fell a couple of times, but I kept moving forward right into that storm. And tonight I reached the top of that mountain, because tonight in Tampa, I'm the new Evolve Heavyweight Champion. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I just have to express how I feel. I have a rhetorical question for you because I know the answer is yes. Who here loves professional wrestling? Once upon a time, Florida was one of the biggest exciting territories selling out every single night and believe me with that quality of show with passionate fans like you there's a chance to bring it back again every single boy and girl in that locker room lives and breathes wrestling you people live and breathe wrestling. Hero walked out the door, but damn it, he respects his business. And I might as well have been created in a lab for wrestling, because this is all I was ever going to do. I'm getting fired up, I'm getting excited. I have a question for you. What does Evolve mean to you? I mean, for me personally, I think this is becoming fastest, one of the biggest companies, one of the best companies in the US. And I come from Britain, so for, for me to know what Evolve is and for me to know about the World Wrestling Network Live, yeah, that's a big deal. That is perfect. Evolve, one person can have an idea to start something, but evolution takes a lot of people. There's a lot of people here right now. 
with those talent in the back, with all of you people. I don't want to be a leader. I am the champion, Dan. I can't wrap my head around this, but I don't want to be a leader. I want all of you by my side. You're all standing right now, but I want the boys and the girls in the back to stand right now. Let's make a stand for Evolve. Let's make a stand for professional wrestling. Take pictures right now. Start tweeting. Start Facebooking. Start telling everybody in the street. Tell them to tell their sisters, daughters, and cousin, dog, cat, cats, mouse before it kills. I don't care if tell someone about Evolve. Tell them about those guys. Tell them about Drew Galloway. Tell them that Evolve is the best wrestlers on the planet. And I am damn proud to be your champion. Oh, what a way to cap off the start of a new chapter here in Evolve. And we do it with a new Evolve champion. Drew Galloway is the man. You want to talk about passion, Lenny? Can we ask for a better champion? Can we ask for a better spokesman? This man said it best. He loves professional wrestling. And fans, we can't thank you enough for joining us here at the Orpheum in Ebor City. And we will be back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock from the Orlando area with Evolve 32. Sunday night in Jacksonville, 7 o'clock for Evolve 33. And we may have just started a whole new slew of questions here in Evolve, but the one man that has all the answers tonight is the new Evolve champion, Drew Galloway. And then talk about, you know, a reboot for Evolve. This is chapter two. What better way to start it than with somebody like Drew Galloway with his passion and his charisma and his, you know, wanting to be the champion wanting to step out there, get Evolve out there, and get the name out there. He's telling everybody, tweet it, Facebook it, get it out there that he's the champion. He doesn't want to be your leader because he wants everybody standing beside you. He wants to be there. He wants all the fans, all the wrestlers. He wants everybody to tell the world that Evolve has the best talent. And I mean, what way can we start, you know, chapter two in our reboot, but with Drew as our, you know, champion, showing everybody that we can do it as the greatest company you know that we have right now out there in the in wrestling no I'll, I'll agree with you heather bottom line is tonight evolve 31 i believe a statement was made chapter two has begun we have orlando evolve 32 headlined by matt Seidel versus ricochet if that doesn't get you there enough how about the fact that it's a double header with fip so for the live audience, you're actually going to get two shows for one ticket. And, of course, hopefully joining us on WWNlive.com, you'll get to enjoy Heat Stroke, and you'll get to enjoy Evolve 32. And then wrapping up the weekend in Jacksonville, Evolve 33, the end of evolution. Johnny Gargano versus Rich Swan Should be fantastic. I'm Trevin Adams with Heather Lynn, Joanna Rose, and probably right now about the luckiest man on the planet. Please join us on WWNlive.com, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon.